Hello everyone, I'm John Russell and welcome to Craft Art Collectibles YouTube channel. In this video we're going to talk about the light box here, uh, how I made it, and what we'll be putting in it. Alright, so basically um, I came up with this years ago. I did a box with uh, Jimi Hendrix in it and I also did a box with Einstein in it based off pumpkin carving cutouts okay um i don't know how i came up with the idea but originally i did a pumpkin with uh bob marley on it i won a contest so i did einstein i won a contest with einstein um and then once i started doing painting it just i just came to me why not do a painting the same way and why not put light behind it? Then I came up with this box and kind of took it a little further. So, in the box, basically, you just got a frame. I actually, or, originally, uh, the uh, Jimi Hendrix painting is called Purple Haze. It's done in purple and black. It's a really nice painting. And it, the lights flicker to the music. It's nice. Uh this one, I put hinges on it. The Jimi Hendrix didn't. Now I'll show you here in a second how I got this set up. I got a little knob that holds this uh, front panel in place. And I can just yank it out. But you can see, all this is a little L-shaped piece of wood I cut out. I screwed it into place. This is nothing more than a little door knob, door handle, or drawer handle, drawer knob, and a shish kebab stick. I drilled a hole, I pushed it all the way closed, pushed this all the way closed, and then drilled a hole all the way through. That way, when I close this up against this piece of Velcro, no light shines through. I have some stops in right here and here, but I would like to go ahead and put full pieces all the way across. Um, I shot a video the other day and it really, it was like uh, one problem after another. All right, just trying to get it lined, the painting lined up inside there because not all the paintings are square. Uh, you'd think they were, but they're not. This probably isn't square. It should be, but it probably isn't. Matter of fact, I got a square over here. Not gonna worry about it now. But yeah, I'd like to put some full pieces in here. That way when I put the painting in, like so, and you will see, I, I'll have to put some stuff in here because it wants to bounce around on the inside. Okay, I can set it in here, but again, I have to actually cover those gaps there, okay? But when you close it up, it holds it in place. But here in a second, I'll go ahead and pause the video, uh, but I'll get these paintings lined up and I'll have, uh, for now, I'll just put cardboard in there to close off the gaps. We'll turn off the lights and see how it looks with the... Uh, controller and change the lights on it another thing I don't uh, I don't like about this is the fact that you can see part of the rim around there I want to see everything so I'm gonna have to change a few things but yeah this is just scrap wood that I had everything's just scrap they were going to throw these one by sixes away, but no, don't do that. I'll make use of them, even if I had to sand them down. Make great shelves. So yeah, hinge it up. You can't see the side. So yeah, let me get things lined up, and I'll be right back. Pause this. All right, so... 
I wanted to show you guys, this is the uh, uh, remote control that I got with the LED lights that I bought. And like I said, I paid around five bucks for it. The ones that I get from Walmart, they range from uh, five to like 12 bucks. But everything can vary, you know. This is what I got though, okay. You got cool, soft, and warm white light. 12 colors. You got uh, one button up there on the top right. It makes it go faster and slow down. Um, down here, the bottom row, flash, strobe, fade, and smooth. All right, we'll go through a couple colors. And uh, go from there. Let me turn the light out real quick. All right. And you can see the light shining out across the wall. Now I have other video. I have videos of uh, Einstein and um, uh, Jimi Hendrix. I actually had a video up on my one of my other channels with Jimi Hendrix on it, and I had to take it down because of copyright infringement laws. So yeah, I did this painting uh, a few years back. It was, uh, I don't know, it just something came to me. Didn't take very long. Cool painting though. All right, so let's uh, let's go back to a solid colors. Run through them. Now with this, with these lights, I mean, you can change the the color of the painting with just the flip and switch, you know. I have a light shining in from behind me here, so it's cutting down on the, what you can see on the wall. You wouldn't think, but it does. Now I'm colorblind, again, just to let everyone know. So some of these colors uh, and don't change very much for me. Yeah, I like that. That deepens that painting for me. Oh, that one. So this, uh, let's see here. Nope. Now see, I think that one's supposed to be blue. Oops, sorry. But I think that one is too, dark blue. See, I don't know. You guys saw this remote. Fill me in on the colors. <laughs> All right. So yeah, uh, I guess I could show you uh, like um, these two here on the ends actually look like they do the same thing. They go go through the colors. That's mesmerizing there. And then, like I said, you use this button up here at the top right. Slow them down, speed them up. Now, if you had the soft bright, or soft white lights, and, uh, all right, so let's see if I can do this here. I should be able to change this into the soft white light. Nope, it automatically wants to go directly into all the colors. Well, they do have some with nothing but uh, white and yellow. And you can you can actually make your own. So it doesn't matter. You can do anything you want. But the ones from Walmart, they had some that were white and yellow. And you could change what they did. 
And I put that behind my daughter's painting, and I'll tell you what, it just made it look fabulous. Looked like the clouds were going through the sky, and the sun was shining. Wow, it was fabulous. So yeah, let me go ahead and put a, another painting in there. And I can still see a little bit of light shining through. I mean, I just used cardboard and I did this kind of quick, but you can see it up here. A little tiny bit of light shining through and a little bit over here. You can see it. But if you're looking from the side, let me go ahead and bring the camera up here so you can see what's what it look like looks like on the sides. And let me go ahead and plug this charging cable here. And that's what it looks like on one of the sides. Now, what I could do with that, because you can actually see the wood on the sides, it's not a big deal. But, to hide this, I could make me a piece of crown molding put it on there and have the recess it would cover this and still recess off the wall about a quarter inch so the light would still shine across the wall but you wouldn't necessarily be able to see see the cracks in the side or the wood blocks okay I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this and change that painting. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys in on watching me change the painting out here. All right. So you just open it up. All I'm going to do is tip it in from the side here. Oop. I got a wedge in there pretty good with the cardboard. All right. Although it all fell on the ground here. Oh. All right. So, which one do we put in next? Let's go ahead and put in the, uh, You know what? I can't remember what I called this one. Palm Tree Island. <laughs> now, originally I had a wire on the back of this. And it wanted to pull out away from the wall when I opened the door. Now, it's holding on there pretty good. And if I wasn't changing these paintings out, like often, I would actually uh, wouldn't have to do much. And the only thing that's holding us up is a little bitty tiny, little bitty tiny nail. It's the only thing holding it up. All right, so I'm gonna, basically I just cut some cardboard into a, about a one inch strip. Bent it and now I'm just feeding it into the edge. Now, most of the time, I'll use wood. I'll cut pieces of wood to make them fit perfect inside my frames. Yeah. 
And yes, this is just temporary. Grab another piece of cardboard here. Actually, I got some stuff right here that'll work perfect. <laughs> you guys can hear what I'm doing. These will actually work perfect. Just uh, some used up sanding discs. But they will keep that light out really good for the time being. Just temporary. Grab my ball. That's all this is. Holds it in place. And, alright, let's take a look at what it looks like here. Alright. Well, not necessarily what I was hoping for, but, I mean, it looks pretty good. Let's try some different colors. Straight colors. Yeah, I've seen this in here before. I didn't like it. What are you going to do? Just not the right picture for this spring. Hmm. I just realized how much light was actually coming through the window right there. You can still see my shadow pretty good. So, yeah. That is I thought that was the whites. Yeah, cool white. Um gosh darn I can't see what that is. One's warm, this is warm, one's cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and switch the paint out. I'm going to put Bob Marley in last, so stick around. What's coming on next? Uh, this is one me and my daughter did, so let me get it set up. Alright, so this is a painting me and my daughter did. Um, it's from an idea I got from a page on Facebook. There's a place over, uh, I think it's in the St. Charles area, St. Peter's, something like that. And they let you come over there with groups of people and, uh, they provide everything that you need to do the paintings. Well, I seen a group of people, um, uh, standing there and they had a painting similar to this. And, uh, so I just did something with me and my daughter. So, this is it. I'll have to turn the lights back on so you can actually see the painting. Because it's actually pretty cool. But I'd like to do a little bit more to this. Add some more uh, flowers. Maybe bring a branch across right here. And then widen the, you know, waves and stuff. Bring some more stuff in in the back. Not a big deal. But yeah, um, I really don't like any of these paintings except for the the Blue Man painting in this. Hmm.
All right, so you guys can see the little gap at the top. I forgot to mention that. You should be able to see this up here. That's what happens if you don't have the right stuff around the edge. That's really, I mean, I can use almost anything. Piece of felt. But yeah, you can definitely see it from back here. At least on the camera it does. Try some. See if I can't speed it up a little bit here. Just a little. Not that much. So the paintings I do, uh, originally did, like I said, they were pumpkin carve-outs, right? I basically, uh, well, I kind of freehand drew Bob on there. I put a couple, uh, the way I did it was, uh, I can't remember what I used. Whether it was this, uh, because I have a couple different things that will project the picture. But I just got a uh, new tool of mine, and it will project a picture onto the wall. And the box that I'm shaking right now that the camera's on, um, I can move that out and in and post everything on the wall right here. This is actually, it, this used to be our bedroom, but uh, after we had the baby, which she's nine years old, we moved upstairs a long time ago. So I turned this into my little workroom. It's our little workroom. Hmm. That's something I just noticed. With the gap on the back of the, the uh, box, you can actually see a perfect line all the way across the top of the ceiling, all the way down the wall. So it shines all the way across there. I didn't, I didn't get that scene very well, did I? Should have brought it out. All right, let me pause it. I'll change into the Bob Marley. All right, so that's what Bob Marley looks like. At least on my painting. Let me come in a little closer here. All right, let me turn the lights out. All right. So this is a Bob Marley painting. And it turned out great. Although it doesn't look very good with the lights behind it. At least this painting itself. I'm going to do another one similar to this. Use uh, a little bit different colors. Uh, this painting is going to go into a frame similar to this. And I'm going to do something with the frame. I'm not going to talk about it, but Whoever picks it up is going to love it. I've already discussed what I was going to do on, with the frame. And some who know me already probably have a guess what I'm going to do with the frame. Hmm. So yeah. Let's go ahead and change the colors around. Those were the whites. colors and it doesn't change very much that right there is blue I do believe hold on a sec yeah. tell me that's not blue looks like blue to me well you can't even see through it with that color Wow. I'll tell you what. 
something to remember. Not a whole row. Kind of curious what color this is. Purple. So the blues, any of the blue, none of the blues let come through. That light would react to the, the, the colors I have on there. But this is, that's blue. Is that purple? Purple? No, wrong. Purple, purple, purple. Different shades of purple, I guess. I missed. Yeah, you have to see this painting up close. Mm hmm. So, yeah, turned out pretty good. You know, the only bad thing, or at least the only thing I have against these lights, at least these ones here, is the charging cable. Yeah, you gotta have a charging cable. Now, the one that comes on these, these are all removable. Let me get back here and show you here. This right here. It just plugs into the lights themselves, USB. You almost have to buy another one of these. It's like six foot long and I'll have to look up the numbers for this I do not know a whole lot about the lights I'll have to do more research but I'll tell you I'm all over the place I got all kinds of things to do um, projects just coming out the wazoo so stick around I'll be back I got more to do Getting ready to do some more work on the watermill. So, hang in there. You guys have a great one. Enjoy that.